Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on congruent triangle guys. So the question says x and y are two points on equal sides AB and AC of triangle ABC. Okay, so AB and AC are equal and x and y are points on these sides such that AX, so this side AX is equal to AY. Okay, we have to prove that XC is equal to YB. XC is equal to YB. Okay, so this is what we need to prove. Okay, now, so let me just clear this off. Yeah, so let's begin and uh, understand how we can prove this question. Okay, we have to prove that XC is equal to YB. So, as I told you in the previous sessions, Whatever is the final result, let's go back from there. Assume that this is true. Assume that XC is equal to YB. So if that is true, what else is given, guys? Equal side. AB is equal to AC, isn't it? That means this angle definitely is going to be equal to this angle. Right? And if you see these two triangles, XBC, of which XC is the part, and YCB, of which uh, yb is the part they are part of two triangles or these triangles right x b c and y c b these are the two triangles of which x c and y b are parts and of those two triangles one side b c is common okay and one angle is also equal if somehow i have proved that x b is equal to y c then by s s a and S criteria, we will be able to prove the two triangles to be congruent, and hence BY will become equal to XC. So this should be the line of action, is it? Now, how to prove? So only element here is XB is equal to YC. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Why? Because it's given that AB is equal to AC already. See, AB is equal to AC, and AX and AY are given to be equal. So Clearly, XP and hence YC will also be equal. So, hence, I think we are done with the proof. So, let's write it formally. So, what is given? So, you have to write given. What's given? Given is AB is equal to AB is equal to AC. Correct. And AX is equal to AY. X and Y being the points on AB and AC respectively. Okay. So, we have to prove. We have to prove. That uh, XC XC is equal to Y. Okay, so let's begin the proof. So what are, are we going to write? We are we are saying that since A B is equal to A C given and A X is equal to A Y, this is also given. Therefore, AB minus AX is equal to AC minus AY. Isn't it? AC minus AY. So, what is AB minus AX? If you see this, is AB minus AX will give you this XB. So, hence you will write XB. And similarly, here AC minus AY is this YC. So, XB is. We need to do is in so let's say in triangle observing or finding the two triangles of which the uh, you know required result or parts or required sides x c and y b are parts is is something we need to learn so in triangle x b c so pick this triangle up and triangle y c b so see the order in which I'm writing the points. Are the vertices so we got what xb is equal to yc just proved above also angle abc or let's write xbc is equal to angle ycb ycb and what is the reason the reason is angles opposite to equal sides 
sides in a triangle. Okay, so this is done. Now let's come here and complete the proof. So what do we get? And third is BC is equal to BC common. Okay, this is the common side. Common side. So hence you can see side angle and side criteria. So therefore we are writing. Yeah, I'm writing therefore by SAS criteria. SAS criteria triangle ABC is congruent to not ABC again. So this is not ABC, guys. This is this is not ABC. This is XBC. Okay. So triangle XBC is congruent to triangle uh, YCB. So choice of or order of points again very very vital. So therefore we can say XC. So this is XC. It will be equal to YB. Is equal to YB. And by that this is because of corresponding parts of congruent triangle, right? And hence we can say proof. Hence, so we arrive at the result using SAS congruence criteria, right? I hope you understood this question and its proof.